So if you've been watching our videos for the past couple years, you'll know that we've had a huge amount of growth here in Northwest Montana. One of the problems that has caused is a huge housing shortage, and it's also driven the prices way up. Well, here in Kalispell, it's been a good news, bad news kind of thing. The city council has approved hundreds and hundreds of new homes and subdivisions to go in that will hopefully help with this housing shortage. And with the new amount of homes going in, we'll hopefully bring the prices down. So I'm standing out here in one of those areas that's been approved for a new subdivision. And as you can see behind me, it was farmland. But if we look over here, you'll see that the houses are moving in this direction. And this particular subdivision has been approved for 300 homes. So we're gonna go look at some of these new areas today. And some of them have been approved for three and 400 homes and it's going to definitely help with the housing shortage, but it's also going to change the look of Kalispell forever. Let's go look around. So the first new subdivision we're going to take a look at that's been approved in Kalispell is down on the south end of town. This is the bypass, and we've talked about this in the last few videos. But this is actually a good use of this land. Over here to the right is the area when they were building this whole bypass back in 2016 that they were removing fill from and adding fill. And this was the main pit for the construction of this whole bypass. So to turn it into a subdivision is kind of best use for this land. And it's going to have a nice view back up into Lone Pine State Park up there to the left. And if you keep going down this road, you hit Foy's Lake. And so it's a nice area. And this is 139 acres, but it's been approved for 407 home sites. So it's going to be quite a large subdivision when it's finally done. But it's right along the bypass. So it'll be easy access in and out. And right now the land isn't <laughs> very pretty because of what it was used for back when they built the bypass. So again, I think this will be, this is one of the good spots to do a subdivision. It, you know, if there is a good spot, uh, this one is it. So this should definitely help out with the housing crisis here in Kalispell. And then to the north, we have Meadows Edge subdivision. This was approved a few years ago and they've built out quite a bit already and this was approved for 322 homes and this is where I was just to the north of this when I did the intro for this video and they've approved another subdivision just to the north of this one called Creekside and that one's going to have 74 townhouses and 29 single family homes and they've also approved other ones up in that same area so this area as you can see from the air here is growing out into the farmland out towards the west valley and towards the mountains on the west side of the flathead valley so as we head a little further north and east this acreage right here is 110 acres and it hasn't been approved yet because they're waiting for the city to annex this part of town and people are fighting this i saw a sign out there that people are against this growth out here but what they want to do is build 380 homes on this 110 acres, but they are trying to build affordable homes and cater to, you know, the, the workers around the valley and the, you know, not the people moving in from out of state. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with this one. Uh, they're having a meeting here soon, but I won't have info on it when this video comes out, but I will keep you posted and let you know what happens out here. And if you head back to the west on Tronstead Road, just down from the property I showed you, this is a subdivision that was approved a couple years ago. This is called Quail Meadows, and there's 39 lots in here. It's not fully built out yet, but as you can see, they've built out this one side. And for example, they're selling these homes. They're three bedroom, two bath, 1,222 square foot homes. They're listed for 539,000. And then they have two bedroom, two bath homes that are just over a thousand square feet that are listed for 499,000. But as you can see, they're continuing to build out here. And I'm sure by the end of this year, this one will be pretty much built out and ready to compete with all the other new homes. 
So if you continue to the west and you go directly across Highway 93, you go right into the giant Silverbrook Estate subdivision. And that one is the first phase is completely built out now. But just to the south of it right here, this land you can see out here that butts up against Silverbrook, this is 182 acres. And they are going to do 181 lots in here of single family homes and townhouses. So when these are completely built out, what once used to be open farmland from Church Drive all the way down to Northern Pines Golf Course is going to be solid homes. So if you'd like more information on any of these new homes or new subdivisions or the types of homes they're going to build in there, please let us know and we'd be happy to send you the information. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.